Now, isn't it? They're boring us. They're blue boring us. Doctor, how come she can fly the TARDIS? You call that flying the TARDIS, ha? Huh? Okay. I've mapped the probability vectors, done a fold back on the temporal isometry, charted the ship to its destination, and parked us right alongside. Parked us? You haven't landed? Of course we've landed. I just landed her. But it didn't make a noise. What noise? Yeah, the. It's not supposed to make that noise. You leave the brakes on. Yeah, well, it's a brilliant noise. I love that noise. Come along, Pond. Let's have a look. No, wait, environment checks. Oh, yes, sorry. Quite right. Environment checks. Nice out. We're somewhere in the Garn Belt. There's an atmosphere. Early indications suggest that... We're on Alfalfa Matraxis, the seventh planet of the Dundra system. Oxygen-rich atmosphere, all toxins in the soft band, 11 hour day, and... Chances of rain later. He thinks he's so hot when he does that. <laughs> How come we can fly the TARDIS? Oh, I had lessons from the very best. Well, yeah. It's a shame you were busy that day. Right, then. Why did they land here? They didn't land. Sorry? You should have checked the home box. It crashed. Explain. Who is that and how did she do that museum thing? It's a long story and I don't know most of it. Off we go. What are you doing? Leaving. She's got where she wants to go. Let's go where we want to go. Are you basically running away? Yep. Why? Because she's the future. My future. Can you run away from that? I can run away from anything I like. Time is not the boss of me. Hang on, is that a planet out there? Yes, of course it's a planet. You promised me a planet. Five minutes? Okay, five minutes. Yes! But that's all, because I'm telling you now, that woman is not dragging me into anything. 